What is going on YouTube and welcome to another episode of PCP Savage. In this video we're gonna replace the O-rings on FX Crown Mark II regulator. I am sure that Mark I a Crown is the same um, techniques and same steps you need to take. Funny thing happened that I sold this Mark II that's been listed on my channel. Um, I sold it and I was prepping this gun for the new um, owner. You know, it's been sitting on the shelf for about six months and I didn't shoot it. And so I filled the you know, I noticed the bottle was kind of empty ish. Um, so I filled the bottle, left it overnight, you know, was gonna tune, you know, check the tune and everything and come to find out that it has a small leak. So I did uh, found where it was coming from. It was um, the regulator uh, valve. Um, was leaking from the o-ring so so I need to fix this really quick or explain how to fix it because he's gonna buy a set of o-rings and replace them and so I'm gonna I'm making this video for him and for you guys to learn how to get to them uh, to the regulator and how to get that fixed okay so you got yourself FX crown and before you do anything you need to degas the gun get the bottle off <clears throat> take the bottle off and then uh, dry fire gun once when you shoot it once, you'll see all your pressure will um, bleed from your um, on the gauges. Watch the gauges. If it doesn't happen after first shot, shoot it again. Bleed all the gauges. Okay. So now, all right. So uh, the next step is we're gonna have to take off the two um, screws on the bottom right here. The one is, I believe, the four mil, and then you have the three millimeter um, by the trigger. So for safety, uh, that's two and a half millimeter. Take that off. And inside you will find a small O-ring, okay? That's holding uh, right here, the little O-ring, right? Right, if you see it on the, on the end of the screw, it's kind of holding your screw in place so it doesn't fall off from the, this, uh, the selector. And the last piece is the, spring selector wheel okay that thing was I believe nope that's two millimeter so we need the two millimeter for that to take that off okay when you unscrew it hold it down and then pick it up all at once you'll see that there is gonna be a two two little balls right here because I have so much grease on it, they kind of stick to the their locations, which is fine. Which is fine, but uh, if they're on our inside on them, um, two springs, just just pick them off with a little needle nose pliers or something. Just don't lose them. Uh, for my buyer, the selector wheel was on 13. Now we need to get to the regulator. Regulator is this brass guy right here. Okay, um, just to get that valve off, you don't need to take your gauge. Um, you don't need to take your gauge out. You can just unscrew the valve. But I do highly recommend, since you're already here, since you're already taking all this apart and messing with the regulator, I do recommend replacing all the O-rings on the regulator. Just because you're there once, and then after that you'll tune the gun. It's gonna shoot great, and another ring might. Uh, leak later and then you have to mess with the tune uh, replace it again and all of that stuff so highly recommend replacing all of them already so how do you get there you need 11 millimeter okay but get the thin one Ooh, I've got some grease on me get a get a skinny one or if you don't have one just get one of yours and just grind them off so it's uh, it's really thin in here because of the space in between okay so now you need to get in there, unscrew it. They don't have to be crazy tight, okay? Um, you unscrew it and uh, it's ready to go. Get that thing off. Now, I do believe it's uh, two and a half millimeter. And you just remove the center valve regulator valve this guy right here 
those are the two o-rings that you see right there to the two black ones they're responsible for most of your yep i can see this one is already separating um it's just because they do in on uh, uh crowns they are known to go bad see that how it's it's already separating pieces so yes those two need to be replaced so we're gonna set this guy aside okay um, and then I would recommend getting the, 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 the whole regulator base out that's for a uh, five millimeter, okay? You need a five millimeter Allen thread and twist it once and get this guy out. All right, now, word of caution, as you're taking that guy out, be careful with this because your, um, the washer stack is right underneath <clears throat> and you don't want to mess with it so you don't get them all out of place you know the, the the stack okay so hold it up I'll explain later and then your stack of washers are is inside get yourself a needle nose pliers hold on to that plastic valve stem and get that out safety this is what it looks like this is it this then nothing else is inside okay this is what it looks like okay this is a stack of washers if you mess it up so you need to replace this o-ring hold that stack right right up so you don't you don't or put it on the side whatever okay so you're replacing o-ring on that thing then you need to replace this o-ring okay and then there is a one o-ring right inside if you can see it right inside this uh, this block right here use a uh, needle and just kind of pick on it and get that thing out that's another one so you have one two three four five five o-rings so how can you find out if your o-rings are leaking they're either you either gonna have um air sipping out through here through the top of the regulator right uh, right where that valve is screwed in or see that hole right here on the side of the block this is the bleed hole for the for your regulator the air bleed hole so also you can put a little bit of foamy um, soapy foam in here or just a little bit of water or I just get my finger wet and just kind of lay right over it and you can feel that that water is going to just bubble up right underneath so this is a sign for your um, bad o-rings on the regulator either this hole or it's gonna come out from here or you can get the shroud off right are you gone and put a balloon on your barrel get a balloon on your barrel and zip tie it and if you see it starting to fill up with the air that means that your uh, regulator is uh, need to be uh, o-rings need to be replaced okay so all right so I'm gonna put it back together with some notes to my uh, buyer okay so this is how it's gonna this is how it's gonna go down again okay I'm gonna lay it on right right here like that okay I'm gonna put this back on like this okay and then I'm gonna lay the gun on the side so I don't drop it in and I'm gonna slide it right in just like so <laughs> It slides right in. Okay. Where is that five mil? And it's gonna be perfectly fine. Now on the on the valve here, we're gonna screw that in and I'll tell you how deep. So the, the gun is tuned for 150. You have to have 150 bar on a, on, a, on a regulator pressure. So you screw it in about flash. So the valve is flash with the base. Okay. And then you, and then you do another one turn, about one turn in. Okay. One full turn. Then you, when you put the bottle, <clears throat> When you put a bottle back in, you screw the bottle, put the regulator, uh, I mean, put the gauge, put the bottle. Uh, I would shoot a couple of times just to let the regulator settle because once you take them apart, they need to settle. Those, the, the, the washers, they need to settle. So I dry fire like two, three, four, five times and let it sit for 10, 15 minutes. 
and then after that you adjust um, then you do adjust your regulator okay uh, if needed you can adjust it with the stock on there is a small access hole right here that you can put your um, uh, the two and a half mil but here's um, here's how I adjust I do very small increments maybe one sixteenth of a turn uh, clockwise you're making less pressure on the regulator when you go counterclockwise you're making you're adding more pressure to the regulator and do very micro adjustments i do 1 16th maybe 1 32nd at the time fire two three shots um give it a second watch it then do small increments just like that okay so this is it thank you for watching if you guys have any questions um feel free to ask he gets two magazines full of this ammo right here, FX, in, FX air guns, um, well made by JSB, it's a 30 caliber, 50.2 grain pellets, okay, I have a few left and I would like to keep that for my um, testing on my other guns because, uh, but he gets, the buyer gets the full, two full magazines of that ammo, okay, and all the other goodies that he knows what he's getting, okay. Thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe to the channel it costs you nothing and it means world to me um, and i have more videos coming up shortly thanks